Hello everyone, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur, and this is going to be a review of an affiliate tracking software called Lead Dino, okay? Um, and I'm gonna caveat this real quick by saying I've literally in the last 20 days looked at pretty much every uh, affiliate tracking software on planet Earth. I've, I've installed like 15 of them on my website. I've spent probably 100 hours going through every single one of them to figure out which one I'm going to use. So I promise you this review is going to be very, very thorough. So if you're interested in creating an affiliate program and Lead Dino is one of the programs you're thinking about, Stay tuned. All right, we're back. Thank you for watching that little intro. Remember, if you are interested in any aspect of online marketing, whether it's creating an affiliate program, becoming a successful affiliate, creating email marketing, any of that stuff, you're going to want to click the subscribe bell below. We put out really, really good videos all the time about that stuff. Um, so yeah, click that button. And uh, the second thing to know is if any of that stuff interests you, we also have lots of free courses on this stuff. Like I have a ton of free courses on my website. Go to buildapreneur.com slash free or click that link right there and uh, hop in and start taking some of those courses after this video is over. Um, but now let's just dive in. Um, like I told you, I've been looking at these affiliate programs forever. It's been the most stressful thing ever. Some of them are so freaking complicated. It drove me nuts. Um, and that's where we'll start with Lead Dino, okay? The first thing to know about Lead Dino, it was the simplest affiliate software I used out of, out of all of the ones I used, okay? Um, very, very simple. I was just so happy with just, I had it up and running, everything working smoothly in 10 minutes, okay? And the rest of them, I mean, some of them took, like 10 hours, the one I actually ended up choosing, which I'll tell you later, took like 10 hours and it took me hiring a developer to actually connect everything. So Lead Dino had none of that. It, in it integrated instantly with everything and it was just really simple to set up. So the first thing about Lead Dino, if you're looking for something simple and you're kind of frustrated with how complicated some of these other ones are, I think Lead Dino is the choice for you. The next thing I liked about it, and we'll get to the cons, so I'm not just going to tell you all the good things about Lead Dino. Um, the next thing I liked about it was the way it tracks and the way it works with funnels. So if you're selling with sales funnels, which you probably should be doing, and one of my free courses teaches you how to do, um, then then uh, you, you have these steps people take, right? They become a lead and then they buy something, and there's kind of these like um, this sales funnel steps people take. And Lead Dino really tracks it exactly like that. Okay, like it it helps you look at it from a funnel. So. Um, if you look here, Lead Dino says, hey, in the last, uh, when is it, uh, month, you've had 6,000 visitors. Um, today, you've had 70 new visitors. Today, you've had 13 leads. So 13 of those new visitors became leads. That sucks. I don't know why my opt-in rate is so low today. And today, you've had zero purchases, right? But I can change the, um, you can change dates and stuff right here to do whatever you want as far as this. And then this is just kind of like a daily view. Um, but it's just really cool to be able to see the visualization of what's going on that day, right? Like this many people came into your funnel, this many people did this, this many people did that. You can also get like all the hard data right here, which I really love. So we're looking at the summary. I can go here and see exactly like, hey, visitors are coming from here. This is when they showed up. This is kind of like what they did, you know. They they visited this day and then the last time they visited was this day. I'm not going to show you these tabs because then we're going to have to email or edit out like 50 email addresses. Um, but you can look at the actual leads. You can see every single person that actually has shown up into your funnel and and put in an email address, right? You can look at the people that purchased. You can get their email addresses and you can and you can see um, all the a list of all the purchases and stuff like that. And you can see cancellations if someone um, if if say in Stripe we issue a refund, it'll actually show up in here, and you can see that and and make sure that you don't pay the affiliate for something that they didn't do. Um, so yeah, simplicity is the first thing, and and the way it works with tracking and funnels um, is just awesome. All right, as far as like actually getting it set up right, you pretty much just go to Tools here, and Lead Dino will give you this piece of script. You can put it um, in your funnel, or if you have a WordPress website or whatever it is, you just insert it, and then Lead Dino will actually just get your um, your Stripe. Hopefully, if you're using Stripe, because that's what I use, I mean, I assume it does this with everyone else as well. It just gets your username and login, and it automatically connects. So it took me like 30 seconds to connect with Stripe. It literally just got my, you know, it just confirmed to Stripe that I could do that, that it could connect. And then I just had to take this piece of code and I had to throw it on my website and boom, it's tracking everything. All that stuff I've shown you up here, totally being tracked. Um, like I said, it was, it was running in 10 minutes, which was the greatest thing on planet earth because the rest of them took much longer than that. Um, the next thing I liked was live support. Uh, so it, it only took 10 minutes, but the reason it only took 10 minutes was because I was able to hop on here and talk to, I don't think it was Deidre, but I was able to talk to somebody and they helped me through one of the issues I had about I couldn't quite figure out how to create commission plans, I think. Um, it's really nice to have live support. And honestly, with, with um, products under $100 a month, honestly, a lot of them don't give you live support, which sucks. Um, but I've, I've reached out three or four times now since I signed up and been able to always get live support, uh, which is a huge plus. The most annoying thing in the world is to have to email support and wait 24 hours to get something back when you just want to get it set up now. Um, the next thing I really liked was 
uh, they have a lot of tools to be able to reach out to affiliates. Okay, so when your affiliates sign up, um, you want to be able to one send them out an email to teach them stuff, right? Like, cause I I get so many support questions from affiliates right now with my current uh, email marketing software. They're just like, hey, how does this work? How does this work? And if I could just send out an email right when they signed up, explain where everything works, then we're way good. And then you can send out a, a, a you can create like uh, automated affiliate sequences where you're basically saying like every few days, like, hey, let me teach you something else cool about this program. Hey, how are you doing with the program? You know, things like that where you can actually um, kind of get affiliates excited every couple of days or even every couple of weeks or something like that and just get them going and and um, and moving with things because affiliates are kind of hard to motivate if you've ever had to work with affiliate marketers. Um, the next thing is um, the ability to link to other pages. So um, that you can you can link to pretty much any page on your website. The affiliates can. I can't show you this here, but the affiliate can take uh, when they log in, they can link to anywhere on your website that you put that code. Okay, so that means that your affiliate is able to not only just link to your home page or just to your sales funnel page, they can link to your sales direct page or they can even link to a blog post if you've put your code in there. They can link anywhere you put the code, which gives you the ability to tell your affiliates, hey, share my content, you know, share my content and it'll it'll cookie people and it'll be awesome for you. Um, and so it's really a, a win, a win in that way. Um, and the next thing is the ability to do MLM. So I know a lot of us don't like MLMs. I don't do any MLMs, but you can do tiers with your affiliate program. Okay, so you can say, hey, thirty percent for your first tier, and uh, your second tier can be, you know, ten percent. Meaning, if you, um, if someone who signs up refers someone else, they get five percent of everything the people they refer make. Does that make sense? So it's it's like an MLM basically. It's got levels, um, and you can set that all up really really easy. I believe it's in tools as well, or maybe it's in commission. I can't remember anymore, but. Um, and they have like the option to like for like 15 levels, like a huge MLM if you really want to go that route, right? Like multi, multi, multi levels. Um, and it's really, really easy to set up. Like I said, I wish I could show you right now, but um, I don't do it. And so I didn't actually set it up, <laughs> but I did confirm that you could set it up. Um, next thing I really liked was pricing as far when I was going across them all, they all have different pricing structures. We're just going to hop on here and look at lead dyno pricing. Um, they were the cheapest one of pretty much all the ones that I saw, which was really awesome and really cool, especially considering they give you all that stuff. So they're like the only one I saw that had a 49 per month plan. And obviously that depends on how many visitors you have. But once you're past 3000 unique visitors, hopefully the $49 isn't the biggest issue, right? Like bumping up to 59 doesn't affect you at all because you're getting that many visitors. Hopefully you're making some money off those visitors. Um, I love that they allow unlimited affiliates. A lot of people limit affiliates. And what that means is you have to vet affiliates. When affiliates sign up, you have to make sure like, oh, this affiliate is worth taking up one of my spots. Um, and so it's really cool. They just give you unlimited affiliates. So I don't ever vet my affiliates. I say, yeah, go ahead and sign up anyone that wants to. Um, you know, if I ever catch you doing anything wrong, I'll come for it. But I don't have to hire someone to sit there and like go through your applications and make sure that like I'm cool with you doing it because you're a legit affiliate marketer, right? We can just let anybody sign up and then hope that they, they do a good job with it. Um, so yeah, pricing 49, 59, 79, there's nothing over a hundred dollars. And, um, a lot of these plans have starting in prices of like 129. So much, much better on the pricing front. And, it, and, and this is why I recommend it probably for all people that are just want a simple, cheap, um, you know, they're maybe just getting started or just fairly new in the whole in the whole thing. They don't have a developer on their team or whatever um, because it's simple and it's cheap and it'll work. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna talk about cons. Okay, so those are all the good ones you can see. I, I actually really loved what I was what, what I saw when I went in there. Um, after 30 days, I ended up changing over to a company called First Promoter, um, and I'll explain why here real quick with the really like two or three cons that I found with Lead Dino. Um, the first one, the big one that really made me switch is SEO. Okay, so if you look at the Lead Dino links, when it generates a link. Um, the link will look like, I don't know if I can see it on my end, but the link will basically look like this. It'll look like ld.dno slash and then like build up renewer is what my link looks like, I think. So that's what the link looks like. Hopefully you can see that up there. And uh, the problem with that is from an SEO perspective, what happens is you send them to Lead Dino, Lead Dino cookies them, and then it sends them onto your website, okay? Um, which is fine, that works. The problem with that is, um, you, you get a, once you get a lot of affiliates linking to you, it can really boost your SEO. And if, if you're if SEO is a big part of your game plan, um, then then uh, you're kind of just missing out on a lot of a lot of potential like links that could really build boost your SEO. So if SEO isn't part of your game plan, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about and you don't care. But if SEO is like a big part of your traffic source and you, you kind of want to have those affiliate links uh, give you some SEO juice that uh, it won't work with Lead Dino and it will work with some of the other ones that let you link directly to the website. So their links look like this, buildapreneur.com slash referral123, right? Um, 
and where where the link goes straight to your site and then the cookie happens. Um, so that was really the the whole reason that I switched away because SEO is a huge part of my game plan. For most people, it honestly isn't, but for me, it's a huge part of my future traffic um, plans. And so that's why I ended up not going with Lead Dino. Um, the next thing is um, the when I talked about the affiliates being able to the affiliates creating their own links. Um, they they have to you can't basically the first link you send them to is to your own website so the first link that they get and they create is just a link to buildapreneur.com right which is kind of lame and not that good um, you want a link to some product I assume if you like multiple products you want a link to those but the affiliates have to go through and they have to find the products themselves so you can't give them like 10 links and just say hey here's the 10 links that you're going to want to link to you know you can give them one and then they have to go through and find the other ones and create their own affiliate link specifically for that on their on their own if that makes sense so if I had five products right or five pages that I want affiliates to link to I could only hand them one it's like their primary link and then they have to go create and find the rest of them and you have to kind of train them on how to do that and it's just a little more complicated um, versus like backpack the one I use or some of the other ones let you say like hey here's five links to five products these are your affiliate links here's a direct link here's a link to the sales funnel here's a link to a blog post that talks about it and here's one more link right um, and you can't do that with lead dino so I wasn't too stoked about that um, the last thing uh, the second last thing was they don't have a customizable sign-in page so I, I hope this works build a there you go. So that's my like page for affiliates to go sign up. It's completely non-customizable. I mean, you can put in a logo. So woo, logo. Uh, but you can't really make your own page with like your own stuff and sell them on Y and everything like that. I didn't really love that. A lot of them let you create your own and then just insert their sign up widget or, or whatnot. Um, and then the last thing was, yes, they have instant support. And yes, um, the support was helpful sometimes. But um, I, I reached out maybe four or five times and about half the time the support was kind of blunt and unhelpful you know when they give you like a five word answer and it doesn't really explain what you want and you're like okay like let me dig a little deeper and you kind of have to keep digging and you're like can you just like can you spend a little time and write me out a paragraph here and, and, and I noticed that their support tends to be kind of like that so they're live they're instant you can get your question answered but sometimes they're like really frustrating to work with and you're like hey I want you to you know really look into my issue and resolve it here as opposed to just kind of like quickly type out a response and then maybe move on to another support or something. I don't really know why you're sending me three words and not a good solid sentence at least, you know? So that was my, my those are my only four cons of Lead Dino. Lots more pros. I have a list here I'm looking at. You can see me keep going like this. I'm looking at my list of like 10 pros, four cons. Um, so like kind of just a general overview. If you're running on a budget, you don't have a developer, you want it to be easy, it's for you, okay? It's really, really easy. Um, you can see all your data. It runs all totally in the background. You can have payments set to automatic, so you can spend an hour or two setting it up, and then you're just running, running, running without you having to do anything. Um, it, it, it's it's structured like people think, so it's just simple to use forever. Um, the pricing really just makes sense for um, smaller to medium-sized businesses like mine, right? You're not making five, ten, twenty million dollars a year, um, and. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, and then just having live support is so helpful, especially for those of us that don't have developers, right? And we can't just like code everything to make the work like the way we want. We have to use whatever options they give us. And sometimes we don't know what those options are. So those are my final thoughts. It is the best for the small and medium sized business that wants simplicity and doesn't care about SEO. Um, if SEO is a huge part of your game plan and you can hire a developer and things like that, well, then you might want to look at some other ones like First Promoter, which I'll be doing a review on soon. So that's the Lead Dino review. Uh, remember, buildapro.com slash free. Lots of free stuff. I hope you click subscribe. Thank you for watching.